The number one thing that we're going to do is break down the biomechanics of this swing. And the first thing is, is that this elbow right here starts this whole movement. So your brain is going to make your elbow be the key that's going to create all the motion. And as she does that, the elbow's going to go down slow. So what we would do is actually just get our kids to understand that the bat head is here and they're creating what in physics is called the whip theory, that they're starting to whip the bat down like this. And so her elbow is going to go from here down and she's going to drive it down. So do about five of those. Again, it's a muscle memory thing. We have to create this muscle memory in young players. And so they have to spend a lot of time understanding that as this elbow is driving to the slot, what else is going on with the swing? We got to get them to understand that there's three points right here that are a part of this connection phase. So what we are going to do is we are going to attack what we would say attack our front heel. Right now we're on the ball of our foot on the front side. Okay, in this, when you get set and you are separated from your front side, you're on your ball of your foot there. Your hands are activated as the back part of the load right here. Okay, so we are separated like the bow and arrow effect of shooting an arrow. So all of a sudden now, she's going to decide to go forward. And in this movement, we're going to add three things. Okay, we're going to take this elbow and attach it to this hip right here and they're going to slide forward and we want her to simultaneously do those two things. Ready? Go. Just like that. Do it again. Go. So when we talk about rotational and linear part of a swing, this is the linear aspect of a swing. It's the linear energy that we are sending forward. I want you to think about the kinetic link. When you take go to an executive desk, you see the four balls hanging on a string, and you take one ball and you shoot it down, and one ball goes out. It's cause and effect. So as the ball comes down and it hits, you are sending a direct line of energy, which gives you the exact same movement on the opposite side. Most of us understand this. When we do this, if we actually create any movement from the side, what it does is it gets the balls going like this, and the last ball will end up going out opposite direction. Again, the same thing happens in a swing. We are trying to create this energy back, and like we always say, as she loads, she's pulling the ball back here, and then she's going to drop it, and when it hits the next ball, that is her connection phase. That's all the linear movement here, and she's sending energy right there. And what you'll end up seeing is her hands will drop, we are looking that her hands stay inside of her elbow. So if you were looking from that perspective, as she's traveling here, we want to stay inside of our elbow as long as we can. We don't want to let her hand go outside of our elbow. Because for every opposite action, there's a reaction. We're going to go here with our hands, which is going to take our heel down and our butt out and away. So we'll end up going here quick. So it's real important that in this phase, we continue to see these three spots facing parallel to the plate right here. So bring your hands back. 